Miguel Cabrera was actually super animated about, hey, you have to protect your teammates when Michael Fulmer retaliated. Wait before. a minute, here we go. Oh, here we go at home. Robine and Cabrera get into it. Punches, throw, Robine getting into the gut of Cabrera. And now both benches are cleared as Robine and Cabrera at the bottom of a pile. And both teams storming for them at home plate. Clint Frazier is holding back Gary Sanchez trying to get in on it. And Cabrera is still down. This is not your ordinary best. So there was some severe punching in there. Usually it's a lot of pushing and shoving, but some, they got some good shots in. Just as we were talking about how it was Cabrera who instructed and applauded Fulmer for retaliating, hitting Ellsbury at Yankee Stadium. He's the one who canely threw out here, and he and Romine got into it and fired off quite a few punches at each other before both benches cleared entirely. You know, I don't know if this umpiring crew was aware of what happened in New York. But I think Joe Girardi was very correct when he said, why did you throw out warnings after Sanchez was hit? None of this would have happened. When everything seemed to calm down, Cabrera and Romine had a few words, and it escalated when Cabrera pushed Romine at home plate. And once that, there was nobody around the two, just those two, and then things started to, to really heat up. And you can see Romine's brother. Well, if they start throwing, it's going to be serious if they start throwing punches at each other. Went from light fireworks to a wow. full display in a hurry. Now the umpire is going to have to determine who started what and who remains in this game. Well, you know Cabrera and Romine won't. No, uh, I don't believe so. Certainly Cabrera is gone because he was the initial who started the, the, the person who started the action with the push. Well, it's still staring at each other. Now the umpires are going to huddle here. They're going to make sure everybody gets off the field as far as uh, the Tigers are concerned because the Yankees are on defense. And I'm wondering, did uh, Aroldis Chapman get involved? Yeah. Uh, he was obviously one of the closer people yeah. to the action. You know, all of a sudden, uh, people were flying everywhere. It's, it's hard to keep track of him. And one of the concerns ended up being just that everybody comes out of something like that okay. Yeah, because you can get stepped on. Here was Cabrera saying something to Romine. And then Romine going back at him. He had had enough. And there goes the shove. And then Cabrera missed. Romine tackled him and got into the gut of Cabrera and fired off a couple punches. You saw Didi get pushed to the bottom of the pile. Judge was trying to get in there. And then Gardner came from behind to tackle. Torres was trying to find somebody to grab. Now you don't want to be on the bottom of the pile. Somebody's being held. No, oh, Sonny Gray holding down Castellanos. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can see Dylan Batanz is still talking with Chapman as the umpires huddle. Well, I know a. Uh, Two players going to be gone, and if, what's going to happen here too? If Romine's out of this game, which I believe is going to happen, that means Sanchez has to take over as the catcher. Yep. And the Yankees are going to lose their DH. Yes, they will. Romine looks like. Does he have a cut finger? Now we had showed you a couple times in the initial exchange that Cabrera kind of tried to stop Austin Romine from getting to home plate umpire. Mm -hmm. Carlos Torres and Romine kind of said get out of here and went right to him and then it was Cabrera who started barking at him this was the exchange this was this was after 
the ball whizzed by Cabrera, and you could see a few words were exchanged before Joe Girardi yeah. came running out of the dugout and got kicked out. I, I think Romine was trying to say we weren't trying to hit you. But in a way, if I'm a hitter, I'm not buying that at all. And Romine's pleading his case, so he's the one who pushed me. I was just defending myself. Yep. Yep, I had a feeling he was going to be out. And I think Kenny, you're exactly right. Yeah. Romine's point is, what did you want me to do? He got in my face and shoved me. He says, I'm gone? Why am I gone? That's Robbie Thompson who's now taking over as the acting manager. And Dana DeMuth, the crew chief, is trying to explain to him who's who's going to be where when the Tigers hit the field. And uh, wow, well, this is certainly not what Aroldis Chapman's used to as far as a warm-up routine goes. First, an ejection from Tommy Canely. and now this. And this is what happened after the fireworks died down. Cabrera gets in the box, starts talking Austin Romine. And Romine says, I'm not going to take it. And Cabrera goes with a shove, a little slap. Romine tackles Cabrera and gets into the gut with a couple punches. Before the scrum gets sloppy at home plate. Oh, nice underneath move there. Bam. Oh, he got one in. I think he got two. And then kept going after him before the rest of the Yankees got in there. It all started because of that man, Michael Fulmer, who drilled Gary Sanchez yeah. after he hit a home run. You know, and that's where the warning should have been. And that was Joe Girardi's point yeah. when he came out after Canely threw behind Cabrera and got kicked out. He said, hey, there was no warning. This doesn't happen if there's a warning. Yeah. In other words, we're just taking our shot. And just before that fight started, Kenny, you and I started to talk about how in that incident in New York, mm -hmm. Cabrera was going nuts in the dugout after Matuk had been hit. I, I can understand that one because he got hit in the head. Yes. You know, that, that's dangerous. You know, everybody, anybody's going to be upset with that. No doubt. On the it, Tiger side, for it, sure. And it was Cabrera who was applauding the retaliation uh -huh. there as Fulmer hit Ellsbury uh -huh. in New York. See, but in New York, they got a chance to retaliate. Yes. Here, once the Yankees retaliate, everybody's somebody's you know the, somebody's out of the game right away. Right. There was no warning. See, they're trying to figure out who's where, and I wonder if you have enough players left. Well, Robbie Thompson's trying to figure it out as well. Now, I don't know what's going on with the role of Chapman, but. Is he walking off? No, I, don't, I don't know. I think he should still be in the game. I didn't see him in any of that fracas there. I'm sure he was in there somewhere, but it's hard to keep track of. You're going to have to slow that down frame by frame to find out where everybody went. Uh, he's still got a ball in him. It looks like he's going to be pitching. So this is right before the fight. And you see Didi going in to talk with Chapman. Cabrera and Romine getting into it. No one really paying attention to them. And then all of a sudden, it's on. And Chapman and, and Didi goes. go darting in. His bodies fly everywhere. You saw Robbie Thompson get in there trying to keep people away. And there's Chapman. He's trying to keep, he's trying to play peacekeeper. You saw Clint Frazier actually hug Gary Sanchez and pull him away uh -huh. from the pile. Larry Rothschild took a tumble. Yeah, you don't want to be underneath. That was Tyler Austin. Now Chapman will warm up again as Sanchez comes in to catch. And now there's no DH. That means the pitcher's going to have to hit, which is another disadvantage for the Yankees over the last three innings here. 
Well, it was a 32-minute bottom of the fifth in which Detroit scored four runs on 49 pitches from three different Yankee pitchers. And it has been a sensationally long bottom of the sixth, but only because of retaliation and fireworks. Now, on the right side of your screen here, you're going to see Gary Sanchez come in. And Sanchez is in, and he throws a punch as well. And I, I can tell you, the league's going to go over this video and see who, which players were the most aggressive. Now we're going to have a, a pitch hitter for Cabrera, of course, who's out of the game. So Dixon Machado in for Cabrera on a 1-0 count. As Chapman finally gets to throw, there was a long delay deciding who was going to come in after Tommy Canely got ejected. Then Chapman finally started warming up out in the pen, came to the mound, and just as he was ready, all of that happened as Machado singles up the middle. Okay, and there are a lot of those sort of everybody runs and looks at each other and shouts some things. That, one, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. And now Sanchez is chatting with Castellanos. 